Hey y'all, Crazy Pop here, and guess what? Today, we're going to do some hash browns. Now, I did a, a video, uh, Breakfast Feast on the Blackstone, and one of my very first videos I ever did on the Blackstone, a few years back, and I uh, did hash browns, and I caught a lot of flack about messing with the hash browns too much, and honestly, I was. So today, I'm going to remedy that, and I'm going to show you how to make some amazing fresh cut hash browns on the Blackstone griddle. It's really easy, really simple just takes a few ingredients and it's, you'll have some amazing hash browns. But before we get started, if you're looking for any other videos we might have done some amazing, amazing recipes, go look in the description down below. There's a recipe play link down there. Click on that and you can take you all the amazing recipes and probably some bad ones too, but they're all there. Now, if you're looking for any other social media we may be on, like our, you know, Dollywoods and our TikToks and our Carowinds and all the amazing other things that we're doing, Look down there in the link tree. There's also Amazon links and Walmart links and all kind of links down there. Be sure to check all that out. There's a lot of great information down in the description, but do that after the video. Watch all this amazing content first. So, we got to get to make some hash browns. So let's get this thing fired up and show you some groceries. Let's get it fired up, y'all. I'm gonna go use these two burners right here because I'm only cooking just a few hash browns. And I'm gonna take them down to about a medium, maybe a little, little lower than medium, right about there. Now, as far as the groceries go, like I said, very simple. We got us some russet potatoes right here. I got some black pepper. We got some kosher salt. Got some oil. You're going to need a lot of paper towels. And we have some butter. And, y'all, that's all it's going to take to make some amazing hash browns. So now while our griddle's heating up, you don't see what we're cooking with, let's get them taters ready. So the first thing you want to do is just peel your taters. So I just got a tater peeler here and a tater, and we're going to get to peeling. Now... If you want to, leave the peelings on. That's fine too. And there we go. Go. Place on that side. There we go. There you go. Three peeled taters. Let's clean up our mess here and we get to grating them taters down. Now I'm just going to use a regular grater to grate mine. You can use a food processor, whatever you want to use and grate them on whatever side you want. I'm going to use this side right here though. And just shred them on down. There we go. A whole mess of taters. You see all the moisture that's in these potatoes? how wet they are we can't have that this is where the paper towels come in we got to get all that moisture out of them potatoes so put your paper towel down and get some potatoes in here and just squeeze now, i don't know if you can see it or not but there's a lot of moisture coming out of them potatoes and just take it over here on the other paper towel. Get them unrolled, and there you go. Take them and just kind of make sure they're dried out good, like so. And just repeat that process till you got them all done. And there we go. Get the rest of them over here, like that. Kind of make sure they're good and dry. If you need to, grab another paper towel. Just kind of see how, see how dry they are now? You don't see them soaking through that paper towel anymore? That's what you're looking for right there. Now, if you don't want to use paper towels, you can use a dish rag. You can do all kinds of things. I heard even tea towels work great, but, you know, I don't have all that. Well, I do have dish rags, but I didn't want to dirty them up. Wife might get mad at me. So I just use some paper towels. Let's check on the griddle. Oh, I'm seeing that white smoke. That only tells me one thing. Time to get some groceries up on this griddle. Let's check the temp of the griddle first, though. Let's see here. Whether you can see it or not, but I'm running, I don't know, about 440, 450-ish, right in there. Right in the center, so you know the edges will be a little cooler, but that's okay. Let's get down a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil. Kind of spread that around just a little bit. Add some butter. You've got to have that butter right in there. Yeah. 
Now that oil is gonna help keep that butter from burning. So you kind of want to spread it around, get it good in there. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and get some hash browns on here, y'all. Kind of pat them out thin, like so. Get the rest of them on here. There we go. Just pull them up, make them look pretty. Now what I like to do is put just a little bit of butter on top of them, some salt and pepper, and let them cook. I right, got that butter on there. Add the salt. Just a little bit of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Now's the hard part. You don't do nothing, you wait. Now these hash browns have been going for five minutes, so I don't know, a little over five minutes. But what you want to do is kind of get your spatula, lift up a little bit, look under that backside and see how dark it is. And you get them like you want them, and when you're ready to, flip them. Let's take a look here, y'all. Ooh, hold, hope you can see that. That looks good under there. Let's check this one. Oh yeah, it's time to flip these things. And now to flip them, I prefer a big spatula. So I broke out my hamburger spatula. Just get up under, give them a flip. Look at there. Give them a flip. Now that's looking good. So now that we've flipped them, let's hit this side a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh yeah. Make them good. All right, now here's the hard part again. Let them cook. Still waiting. All right, let's flip these over and see what they look like and see if they ready to take up. There we go. Nice, pretty hash brown. I say it's time to take them up. So grab your plate and just take them up. So here they are, my nice crispy hash browns already. Let's take them over here and take a look at them. Now that is some pretty crispy looking hash browns right there. Nice golden brown color to it. You can see that pepper, you know that salt's in there. I believe these are gonna taste pretty good. I say we try one out, what y'all think? So there they are, nice crispy hash browns on the Blackstone. Not that hard, we just need patience. Well, let's try one out. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear it or not. They're good and crunchy, but they're not burnt. They're not overdone, as you see. Let me look at that. Good, pretty looking color to them. These are actually delicious, that salt and pepper just right on them. Nice fresh taters. Speaking of fresh, I think that's the best way to go. I've done frozen, I've done the pre-made ones. I never did dehydrate, I can't speak on those. But now fresh, fresh anything is just always better in my opinion. So use the fresh, squeeze the, squeeze the moisture out of it, put them on that griddle with some oil and some butter. Patience, use patience. That's the best thing I can tell you. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you know how to make amazing hash browns. If you do make hash browns, take a picture of them, tag me in it. I would love to see how you make your hash browns. So I gotta finish these up real quick and uh, we'll see you next time.